So I'm Bradley, I've been working for Ardix now for nine years and I'm a technical support manager for North London and East Anglia. We're here today at my property to have an LVT installation done. So I'm Gary Haig, technical support manager for Ardix for the North East. I've been with Ardix for nine months and today I've been drafted in to help Brad uh, fit his LVT in his dining room and kitchen. So we're using a Harvey Maria product. Uh, prior to today, I've already done the refurbishment system, which was the use of Arditex NA, followed by Arditex DPM1C, followed by Arditex NA on top again to sandwich it. Uh, the reason we've done a pre-smooth is because the floor was very uneven uh, and we wanted to facilitate the 350 microns that the DPM needs. After that, we put a final smoothing layer. The reason we do that is to protect the DPM uh, and we also want an absorbent layer for our adhesive to bite into. After that, because uh, there's been a few days that have passed, the area has been sort of trafficked um, uh, and as well it's been contaminated. So we've came in this morning uh, and cleaned the floor. So by doing that, um, we now need to feather finish over it to give a nice smooth layer again, um, ready for our flooring adhesives. Okay, so Brad's now gonna mix some feather finish, uh, which is rapid drying smoothing, uh, smoothing compound. Uh, we mix it uh, two parts powder, one part water, uh, and we're going to we're going to go over the smoothing compound we've already put down a few days ago. The only reason is it's been it's already been been trafficked for a few days, so we're just going to take that uh, that dusty finish off uh, and just make sure we've got a nice smooth smooth coat for the uh, LVT to go down on. So we use a, use a whisk, uh, slow speed drill whisk, uh, just to mix it up. So it's a nice smooth creamy consistency and then we'll get that down on the floor and give it 10-15 minutes drying time. We've marked all the borders out around the perimeter. Uh, so now we've just been marking out with our, our template. Uh, so we get even cuts either side in the main area, which is which side is going to be the kitchen and not the dining area. Okay, so we've, we've spent time moving uh, from side to side. Uh, that's why we've got random lines on the floor. Uh, now we've, cho we've chose our line, set it in place, mark it in pen and then we're ready to go and work off that line. So for this herringbone install, we're going to use Ardex AF148 contract press sensitive adhesive. It gives us a long three hour uh, working time, so we can get uh, plenty of flooring down. Uh, and when we come to the intri intricate cuts around the edge, it, it's still, uh, still tacky and uh, okay to use. So we trowel this out with a A1, A1 notch trowel. Uh, we say there's no need to roll if you use an A1, where uh, they say oh, you should, should back roll it with a, a foam roller to, uh, to flatten the ridges. Well, with, uh, with our 148, there's no need. Just use an A1 notch trowel, uh, spread it, and wait for it to have its open time, and then get straight into it. Okay, so in this area, I'm going to use the Ardex AF2575 Plus. This is an MS polymer based adhesive. Uh, it's going to give us the properties of an epoxy uh, adhesive, but from a one part. So it's quite unique in what it does. Uh, what we can do is we can open it, and as you can see, it's got a cellophane lid on there. We can just cut this off. Uh, so that once we've finished our job today, we can put that back on. Uh, whereas an epoxy, we'd have to use both parts, react it, uh, and then throw away what we don't use. In terms of trowel selection, um, all of our Ardex adhesives actually have a true to size uh, trowel thing on the, on, the, on the rear side here, so we can just hold it up. Uh, for this, we're going to use an A1 notch. Like I say, we'll just keep this to one side and we can use that again once we've finished. Now with this adhesive, you can see it is more viscous 
than if we were to be using an acrylic adhesive. Like all of our Ardex adhesive, uh, they are all EC1+, and they're all suitable for underfloor heating. This adhesive in particular, the Ardex AF2575, is completely moisture tolerant and can actually be used externally for fixing stuff like artificial grass. So the reason we're using Ardex AF2575 Plus in this area is because it's near this rear door. Uh, in this area we get quite a lot of high solar gain, so our normal acrylic adhesive won't hold sufficient restraint for our LVT. So as you can see we've used the Ardex AF148 pressure sensitive in these two areas uh, and in the high solar gain area here we'll switch to the AF2575 Plus. If you do have any questions uh, on the, any of the products that we've used today, then visit us online at ardex.co.uk.